So let us have a quick look at the pre-work that we need to do in order to find the first cell height. So whenever we mesh surfaces which are to be modeled as wall, in case of turbulent flows, we have to consider something called as the first cell height. So uh, we have to consider the first cell height to capture the boundary layer effects and also to satisfy the Y plus criteria which is demanded by the turbulence, various turbulence models that are there in Fluent. So we will see how to calculate the first cell height. So for this particular problem, uh, what we did is uh, we calculated the velocity based on uh, the mass flow rate and the area values that we have. This is the inlet velocity. After this, we uh, went on and calculated the Reynolds number and we just did the flowage turbulence based on the Reynolds number. And also we are going to use the Cape Epsilon model with standard wall function in Fluent. So there is a quick way to calculate that first cell height and we do that by some codes or some small uh, programs that are available online uh, which we can use and, uh, and also we can use theory and make our own programs to calculate uh, the Y plus. In this case we have used a standard available programs on the internet. So we input the free stream velocity, we input the density, the viscosity and we also input the approximate length which we have to uh, consider boundary layer. Then we also enter the Y plus value. These Y plus value are restricted from the turbulence model that we are going to use. So for wall, wall function it is desired that this Y plus value is around 30. So after entering all this we get the outputs that is Reynolds number and estimated, y, estimated wall distance. So we use this particular wall distance as our first cell height. That is our first cell attached to the wall uh, will be at a distance of 2.9 to the power minus 3 meters. So now we will proceed giving the mesh parameters.